A lot of people play Skaven wrong and it's starting to piss me off. Stop doing this. If you see a build that looks like this, the player's bad and you need to beat them. You need to beat them very badly so they stop playing badly. Because being bad is annoying to me. Stop being bad. Alright, why is this bad? A lot of Skaven players like to blob up. They like to make little complex boxes and defend their ranged units within them. And if you ever break the box, you win the entire game. They quit the game. They turn off their computer and they go home. That is annoying, that is frustrating, because that is not how Skaven are supposed to be played at all. Now, it is one way to technically play Skaven, but everybody tunneling in on it is stupid. How should you play Skaven? Well, first things first, the entire army has a fucking passive called Scurry Away. It gives you 10% speed if you run away. They run away all the time. If you are in a box formation, let's take these dogs out of here to make my uh, point more clear. If you're in a box formation, your enemy is going to surround you. They're going to come in from all sides, hit you from everywhere at once. When your units route, they have nowhere to go. They will run away from any enemy, which, since the enemy is coming from all sides, they will run through themselves. Blocking the line of sight of Nabby, Natty Boobo sharpshooters, maybe blocking the line of sight of your gunrunners, so your range units are going to stop firing. Also, they're not going to get away. Away with their extra speed. Skaven are very good at getting away from the battlefield, getting all the way out here, rallying, reforming lines, and coming back in. And now all of a sudden you're flanking the enemy who was trying to flank you. Right? So the enemy is set up about here. You have Skaven rallying and hitting them from behind while they are still getting hit from the other side. You create sandwiches if you leave yourself space to rally. If you form a teeny tiny box, you have no battlefield control, you have no space control, and anything that routes is at the mercy of the enemy. Right? Right. So I brought here a lot of the best units of the Skaven. A lot of them need space. Warp Lock Gisales and Warp Lightning Cannons. You don't see the Warp Lightning Cannons, but just use your imagination. They have insanely long range. They can probably engage in any realistic melee fight that is going on on the battlefield, so they could support a cavalry engagement versus your Rat Ogres or something on either flank. They have extremely long reach, so you don't need to be right next to them to get support. Gutter Runners and Night Runners need space. They need space to run around, to skirmish, to harry the enemy, to harass them into a bad situation. And one of the strengths of Gutter Runners is if you are running at them, you are getting shot. While they run away, you are getting shot. And if you start ignoring them and start looping in towards the Gisales, guess what? They can follow you in, and you're still getting shot. But now from the back. Also, same thing, is you can run some dogs with the Gutter Runners and Night Runners. And now, if you go for the Gisales, you get rear charged by dogs, and you're still getting shot. But for all that, you need space. If your Night Riders and Gutter Riders are in a teeny tiny little clump with everything else, none of that's going to happen. The only throwing they're going to do is when stuff is two inches from their face and then in their face. They'll get one volley off most maximum, and they'll probably just have the stupid little obstruct trait above them. So don't do that. Anyway, also you're super afraid of Burning Head, Sea Fang, any wind spell that does a lot of damage to your clan rats, so spreading them out is also quite nice. Gives your Natty Boobo Sharpshooters or Gisales or Warplane Cannon, whatever. Long lines of sight and more space to stay away from archers. Enemy archers can only form up here. They'll probably be out of range of your Gisales if they form up here because your freaking clan rats are right on top of your Gisales. Archers are just going to shoot your Gisales and your clan rats can't defend them from arrows. So your front line probably wants to be like that. Your central ranged piece, Warplane Cannon or Gisale, wants to be in the middle. Gutter Runners and Night Runners on each flank to harass light cavalry or heavy cavalry coming in. Rat Ogres occasionally around, and dogs around to support the Rat Ogres or the Skirmishers. You need space, and the problem for the enemy shows up. If they get around here, if they go through your Night Runners, like we said before, even if they attack your Night Runners, your Night Runners start to rout. They have to pursue your Night Runners all the way off the map while getting shot by Gisales or rear charged by Rat Ogres and dogs, or they can fuck off and go do what they're originally going to do, but now your Night Runners get to rally and then come back and shoot them in the back like we said. So having the space to run away also makes it a lot more difficult for your enemy to make decisions. Decisions that every second they don't make the decisions, they're getting shot. Now this obviously isn't a real army because I brought three different lords, but I just want to point out that the three most popular lords right now, the only one missing is Lord Skrull, he is a little different. But Ikaclaw, fast terror-causing combatant that can throw down Flins and Ruins, he is fast. He can get to whatever battles you need to be a part of. Pac- uh, sorry, not Packmaster, Warlord on his Brood Horror, for various AoE leadership buffs, his healing and terror is also fast. He can get to whatever fight you need him to. And Gracier's have a global leadership and vigor regeneration, plus very long cast reach on other spells. They don't need you to be in a blob. They can all support a wide battlefield. So, 
You can take better engagements where your skirmishers can get more damage out and have more room to move. You can get reinforcements back on the battlefield because you're taking up a lot more space making it difficult for your enemy to isolate and surround things. Your rat ogres and wolf rats have more chances to get rear charges on enemies who are distracted. Your warp block zales or warp lightning cannons have more room to shoot, better target angles, less chances to get obstructed, and they are safer when they are further away from things. And a lot of your lord options are perfectly accounted to... Uh, aid in fights that are far away due to either speed or global range. Please, for the love of God, just play Skaven spread out. It's, it is so much better. It's so, so much better than boxing. Is boxing effective versus certain factions? Yes. And the threat of boxing makes your opponent play differently. But if all you do is box with Ica Claw, four rat ogres, a bunch of clad rats and globes and prey, guess what? Everyone on the planet has learned how to play against that. All their builds are going to be good at dealing with that, and you are going to lose a lot of games. Now again, if you're playing your friend, you're playing 20 games in a row, you want to mix it up on them. You want to make sure that they know you can box, and you will box if you need to. But loading in default boxing everywhere cuts a lot of your unit's effectiveness roughly in half, sometimes worse. Also, overcasted spells like Doom and Darkness, AoE, affects more of your army. Heart of Winter, Burning Head hits a lot more of your army. Like, just a lot more problems. And routing units give a debuff to nearby allies, and Skaven don't have a lot of leadership to go around. So, yes, you should spread out. Yes, it will get you a lot more wins, I promise. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.